Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh, and today we're going to check out Little Britain's Dafty Thomas first episode. Guys, please continue to leave your comments below. All our videos are based on your comments. If you're subscribed, check those out first. We also have a Patreon, but if you can't afford to donate to it, that's all good. Just continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. That's all we can ask for. Then the last thing, guys, is our daily motion. If it doesn't get uploaded to YouTube and it gets blocked, um, we put it on daily motion for you guys to check it out there. So make sure you follow us on daily motion as well, and that's in the description. So let's jump into it. In the most mining village of Clan Dewey Breffy lies this charming little pub. With its original slate roof and delightful period features, it truly is a joy to behold. <laughs> ah, look at that. It really is a beauty. It's what Britain's all about. Ah, he's tripping it. Have another Bacardi and Coke, please, my friend. Miss shirt. Oh, no. I'm in right there. Oh, bloody hell, my van, I'm so down. Oh, why is that? Stop it. Don't you know I'm the only gay in this village? Oh, I just dream of the day I can meet other gays who know what it's like to be a gay. <laughs> I was going to tell you. I was talking to old Mara Evans, and she told me that she's taken in a lodger from Cardiff, and guess what? He is a gay. I don't think so. No, apparently he is. I told old Mara Evans to send him over here tonight so you could meet him. Well, I'd be very surprised if he really is a gay, my family. Everybody knows I am the only gay in this village. <laughs> Oh, sure, it's like decadence. Please, <laughs> wouldn't a fam in a drink? Oh, you must be Dapet. <laughs> that dude, yeah. shorts and mesh shirt, you is killing me. <laughs> As I was just saying to Mother Nia, it's such a shame I am the only gay in this village. Oh, uh, I'm a gay. I don't think so. No, I bloody am, you know. Old Mar Evans said I should come and speak to you because you're the only gay in this village. Well, now you're not. Now there's two of us. All right. If you're a gay. Who played Dorothy in the film The Wizard of Oz? Judy, Judy Garland. Garland. How did you know that? It's easy. Everyone knows her. Huh? All right, then. Let's just sort out the gays from the not gays. <laughs> Who is the gay character and are you being served? Mr. Mr. Humphreys. Was it? <laughs> yes. Oh, well, that's very subtle, then. <laughs> oh, I always thought it was Captain Peacock. He's a that dude's eyebrows are killing me. <laughs> the one with the oh. moustache. <laughs> Well, I seem to have passed your gay test, so I must be gay. No, you are not the gay. I am the gay. You're probably just a little bit puffy. I am a gay. I've had sex with men and everything. That's more than you've had, David. Shut up, my <laughs> I am the only gay man in this village, and that's that. <laughs> well, maybe I should go. Yes, maybe you should. We've already got one gay in Clandui Breffy. We don't need another one. That dude tripping. He got a gas up, man. And I'm assuming, um, what do you call Poofy or puffy just means like um like flamboyant or like gay tendencies, but you're not actually gay. That's what I'm based on the context. I'm not gonna it's such a short video, I'm not gonna stop and look it up, so let's just jump back into it, but I'm assuming that's it. Well goodbye then. <laughs> yeah, some booty Damn man. It, Thomas, you stupid man! You could have had a bit of cock there. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the oh, kind shit. of homophobic attitude I've come to expect in this village. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. That was fantastic. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was freaking goofy. <laughs> that whole thing would have made me think about, and I know I always have like a story. A guy I worked with at uh, Walmart, he was super vocal about flamboyant gay people because he was gay. And um, he he actually worked hard not to match any of the gay stereotypes. You know what I mean? I mean um, and he didn't want to be a sum of stereotypes. That was his biggest thing. And it always bothered him whenever he met a gay person who was super flamboyant and, and like lived up to every single stereotype people assumed gay people were. And he wouldn't. It just bothered the heck out of him. And the thing is, he was, he was openly gay. He just, he had a husband who would come bring him lunch, stuff like that, but he just hated the, the stereotypes that align with it. And he couldn't stand it. It bothered him so freaking much, man. Like, Jesus. And, um, it was a girl who he, he was actually close friends with. She always told him, like, dude, you need to calm down. You're like a self-hating gay. And he's like, no, nah, I don't hate, I don't hate being gay. I'm not a self-hating gay. I just don't like people who seem like, who feel like they have to live up to the stereotype that's placed on them. It just bothered him a lot. And that's what this this made me think about that. It just it just irritated the shit out of him all the time, man. Yeah. So yeah, this is good. I enjoyed this. It's funny. It's funny, dude. Looks like he's in another clip right there with uh, Elton John. I need to check that one out as well. 
All right, guys, that is all for this one. Um, hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.